Head coach Steve Alford has said Lobo fans are some of the best in the country. New Sartinsy and Schwartz found that out firsthand as he joined Lobo fans on a bus for the long overnight journey to San Jose. This is what Ian saw and heard along the way. <laughs> the bus rolled out Wednesday night. 30 rabid Lobo fans ready to rock. With a 15-hour drive, sleep was a must. A couple of pit stops in Arizona and then breakfast in Bakersfield. It feels good to get some fresh air and uh, actually uh, be able to move. The journey was long, but once we got to the Bay Area, it was time for the fun. We've been local fans for years, so this is great. Cherry and Silver lined the streets of downtown San Jose. Here we go! This local pub was overrun by the Wolves. There's nothing like Lobo fans. We follow our team wherever they go. Come game time, it was easy to spot the Lobo fans, hundreds of them wearing their pride. Joe Montoya and his family drove here, but they had their car stolen in Bakersfield. So uh, next best thing is rent a car. Couldn't find a car to get up here. Finally, we ended up driving a uh, subcompact for the last five hours to get up here. Win or lose for the Lobos, for some of the fans, it's all been about the road here. It's great. It's been a beautiful, beautiful season. I started at UNM in 1968, and this is one of the most beautiful seasons of basketball I can recall. On board with the Lobo fans in San Jose, Ian Schwartz, woof, woof. KRQE News 13. What was that, Ian, right at the end? Nice.